The wife of the Zulu monarch is attempting to inherit 50% of the ruler's estate, which is believed to be in the region of $200 million. Lamini Zulu's argument is based on the fact that she was the first wife and married in civil rights and in community of property back in 1969. Furthermore, she said that the remaining queens and their children would split the remainder of the estate and not be evicted from their various palaces. However, the first setback came on Tuesday when Deputy Judge President Isaac Marundo ruled that her court papers had not requested to rule on whether or not the other five marriages were valid or not. The judge added that the request to allow the other wives to remain in their palaces was inadvertently an approval of their respective unions. The Queen had filed a last-minute amendment in an attempt to rectify this, but Judge Magundo felt that this was very late in the game. Passing his latest judgment on Wednesday, Judge Madundo explained that reasonable justification should be given for the application and that no reasons at all were substantial enough to allow for this. King Misuzulu, the disputed heir, is already on the throne and his traditional prime minister, Inkosi Mogasutu Butelezi, is opposing the application put forward by the Queen. The procedure set out in the rules was not followed or honored not only to the prejudice of the fifth respondent but to all other people who will be affected by the granting of the relief sought as a result the application to amend this is accordingly refused